opportunity to be accepted unconditionally without judgment mm -hmm. is all too rare, isn't it? Yes, absolutely. I mean, it is. Um, gosh, back then for me, uh, uh, it, it was obviously it was hard. Um, I was judged a lot, right? Um, didn't know if you're ever going to get better um, or, you know, just if you're ever going to mount to anything. So um, just to be able to feel comfortable to talk with a peer um, or somebody you trust about whatever is going on um, can mean everything. Just a place to vent, yeah. you know, where it's appropriate um, and learning ways to to say how you feel, but in the end, start practicing and saying positive things to yourself. One thing I hear too is your positive impact on the healthcare professionals at mm -hmm. Carillion. You know, you have helped to profoundly impact our culture around taking care of persons with a substance use mm -hmm. disorder. And I, I hope that you realize that. Um, what messages for other healthcare systems, for other maybe new professionals coming on board mm -hmm. to Carillion, would you want to convey in order to fight the stigma that's so often attached to persons with right. addiction? So basically is know that this might be their time. It honestly might and you will never know it. And just to be patient and, and just be listening. Look at them, they're a person, they have a name. Um, don't, my biggest thing is don't always keep looking at in, the, in their chart of past things over and over and over because this is, this is them now, this is brand new, they're here. It could be, it's, could be something totally different. And, you know, just put it at face value, you know, a clean slate. That's what I always like to share is you don't, you have that, you see that, but like really ask the person now that's in front of you, like what's going on? How can I help you? Um, you know, what would you like to happen? Or, you know, stuff like that. Um, Do you think that the framework that we often use in our program of talking about addiction as a disease, mm -hmm. as a medical condition um, that's treatable, mm -hmm. that warrants attention medically and with wraparound care because yeah. so many aspects of our lives are affected by the disease and how it manifests itself. Is that a helpful framework for educating the healthcare professionals and for destigmatizing addiction is to put it in the context of a disease? Does that feel like yeah, it makes sense? Absolutely. Um, and, and know that you can get better. Um, and I think just from myself sharing my story um, and then, you know, from them seeing how we interact with patients in the emergency room and how we are changing the language and how like we approach and how we speak and how we say things, that it ends up catching up with them where they start um, saying, okay, well, maybe I look at it in a different perspective this way, or wow, okay, I might can say things this way and not that way, or let me just say hi, like, you know, um, and it, it will change the whole dynamic, you know, um, a, a lot of times, you know, you get stuck, I'm sure they get stuck in like one way of how they know um, and how they were taught. But I think definitely from us being involved in the emergency department, we have changed the language. They are being, you know, trying to be more positive, um, be more reinforcement and, and being, you know, knowing that it's a disease and that, you know, there is help out there that's okay to be on something and like, it's gonna save their life, you know? So it's just, you know, we can't fix everything all at once, obviously, but um, I think the more positive that the peers are and the way they represent themselves and being a role models, that in the end, it, it will catch on. Are there certain words that you feel like um, you're noticing they used to be used and now they've let go of them and substituted 
other ways of talking about patients and with patients? Yeah, so they, I really like how they'll just be like, you know, are, you know, are you experiencing like on a substance or do you have a substance abuse problem or are you having a mental health issue or, you know, what's going on? Um, Cause I mean, sometimes they'll just be like, what drugs are you on? Or um, I'm sure you're just in here because you're an addict or whatever. But, you know, I've really, really tried super hard and I know they're doing so much better is to, to watch what you say. And that, because patients hear everything. Um, and I know you're wide open there, you know, and so it's really crucial to be mindful um, because words hurt. Um, so it's, it's really just to, to share like, hey, like I, I need help, you know, I'm struggling right now, whatever that may be, but I'm more than that, you know, like I'm, I'm here to get help, whatever that may look like. So right, just right. trying to be positive and be, um, be gentle and be empathetic at the same time while you're still um, running a fast paced emergency department. So. Yeah, I, and it, it does matter how we speak about people and with people, the, that language really matters. And you've helped educate all of us yeah, you know, about so making sure we don't just talk about someone as if their whole being mm -hmm. is addiction. Right. And that they're an addict instead of right. just being a person who struggles with the disease. Mm -hmm. 